Well, I just got back from the thrift store, or a couple of them, and I got a pretty decent haul. First, I got this uh, Gateway here. It's a slot A machine of some sort. And uh, the Color Computer 2, I'll make a video on that later, because that, opening that box up is going to be a whole other can of worms. I'm just going to goof around with this dilly bopper here today. So the reason I was kind of interested in this thing is that these newer gateways like this usually have some sort of AMD CPU, usually like a Super Socket 7 deal or an Athlon or something like that. So I got kind of curious about it and uh, looked inside of it while I was at the thrift store. And the only thing that I saw inside there was a big old fan and an Athlon CPU. So that was a bit different. That's why I got it. As you can tell by the sticker here, it's probably a 700 mini tower. Are you serious? This ain't a mini tower. This thing's fucking huge. All right. Oh boy, that's a it's a big old fan <laughs> and uh, some weird looking stuff in there. So yeah, it's an Athlon ATX type board. Lots of spider webs, lots of dust, and some. Unrecognizable AGP or AGP board. So interesting. This thing is absolutely filthy. Ooh, nice. Anyway, let's look at the front real quick. Because one thing that already bothers me is that they decided they didn't want to use the three and a half inch bay for the floppy disk drive, and instead they used a. Uh, Oh wow, that's actually not an adapter. That's how the case is. That's not a blank. That is bizarre, actually. I didn't think it was like that. Huh. All right, so I guess these are expansions. Although, I wonder whether this came in with the machine or this one, probably this one. It's actually a DVD-ROM. So this thing is ready to watch movies on. This is a multimedia PC for sure. Of course, inside the machine we have our dreaded IBM Death Star hard drive. I wonder if that thing even works still. Some generic ATX PSU. A Sound Blaster Live. Whoa, I wonder if it even works. I wonder if that's the... That must be one of the OEM cards. You got a modem with uh, some wire going to the Sound Blaster. Uh, some CD audio cables, too, for both. Oh, I guess so. Okay. Well, I guess we can play two CDs at once. Fancy. So after we pry off this fan connector from the floppy disk, uh, or one of the FDD plugs, you can just pull this right off to reveal this humongous heat sink and lots of dust. But this thing is all sorts of plugged up. And we have what looks to, appears to be SD RAM. Yeah, that's SD RAM. We got Micron SD RAM. That's nice. Ooh. Labeled Gateway. Whopping 256 megabytes. This thing probably has like 512 in here. That's fancy. It appears that the CPU is bolted onto this frame here, so you can't take it out without. Removing those screws. I guess I'll just have to do that then. Ugh. So apparently the bolts just held this bracket on top of the CPU, and the CPU still has those Pentium 2 style switches there you can click in. Apparently they didn't want this thing getting away. Oh. Ooh, dusty. Oh boy. I think it was probably getting a little bit warm. That's kind of cool, though. What are those? Little heat sinks for the, uh, whatever the heck those are. Little ICs or something. I'm not entirely sure. Where's my flashlight? I don't know if they're heat sinks because they don't have any, uh, anything attached to them. Maybe they're just some sort of shielding? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Wow, AMD, fancy. It's the only hard drive we got, right? Yep. I bet you that thing doesn't even work.
It appears our car is a TNT2 M64 of some sort, and it's horribly, horribly dusty. Well, I guess I'll blow this thing out. <laughs> Let's try and see if it works. Probably do. Just hear a bunch of hard drive clicks. Oh, God. Need a dust mask. All right, so now that my computer and I can both breathe and I have my drink of the intellectuals here, I can see what kind of hell is contained within that hard drive, if it even works. It kind of sounds like it does not like the sound or video card, so we're not going to get anything out of that. Is it still trying the boot? Okay. Yep, eight beeps. That's the video card error. All right, let's uh slap something else in. I have another M64 around here somewhere. Well, considering the size of that heat sink, I wouldn't be too particularly surprised if it did cook itself. So I'm going to try putting this one in. That's another M64. Let's see if that works. All right, time for round two. Ugh. Wow, gateway. I'm gonna change the system messages or display them instead. NVRAM, CMOS settings wrong. Of course, the battery's probably dead, so it actually works. I don't hear any clicking from the hard drive either. I'm all sorts of plugged up now that I blew all that dust everywhere. I shouldn't have done that. Total memory, 640 megabytes. That's a, that's somewhat different. I guess that's a... Huh. All right, 640 megs. It's kind of goofy. We got floppies. We got IDEs. We got enabled. Auto-configured, 20 gigabytes. Sounds about right. Uh, oh boy, 700 megahertz AMD F1, wow. Well, let's save the changes and continue, get out of here. Took the CD-ROM drives for anything bizarre besides a whole lot of fucking dust. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh, it's doing something. Windows XP. Oh boy, here we go. Man, this thing was designed for Microsoft Windows 98. I can't wait to see what kind of horrible slow thing. Oh, this is XP. That means if they have a password on it, I can't get in. I wonder if I can find some way to get around that online. I'll probably have to do that because I want to see what the crap they have on their hard drives because I'm not a very nice person. Of course, I won't use anything for any specific reason. I'll nuke the drive after I'm done, but I like seeing what kind of weird shit I can find. <laughs> oh. I'll put the side panel back on because the CPU gets first nice breath of fresh air. Oh. Date's wrong. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. They probably stopped using this as soon as they upgraded it to XP because it became unusable. At least that's my guess. Ugh. Dusted, dude. Oh boy. Now I gotta get this back away from my camera because my camera, for whatever reason, Likes to zoom in or something. Frost wire, is that some sort of lime wire? Oh, that can't be. I don't think this thing has Ethernet on it. Oh. No, it has a modem, unless they're, they're torrenting on a modem. That sounds like a horrible women.rtf. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh no. Oh, oh God. Oh, 
Why women still can't have it all. Well, I was, trying, I was gonna see if this was either something incredibly woke or incredibly red-pilled, but it seems to be neither, and boring, and I got bored reading halfway through that shit. And, uh, yeah, I guess this is a torrent client. Oh god, it's trying to dial up now. Uh-oh. We have a Zeusk. Is this some sort of ICQ clone or something like that? Oh, they're, they're gonna reform the school. And this... This, uh, user is trying to reform the education systems here. Single ladies! Oh, is this gonna be a... Blah, 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 I don't care. Oh boy, okay. Attachments.zip, I wonder what kind of viruses we have here. <laughs> oh, I can't put that in there. Someone's, uh, okay. Someone's got selfies. A oh, billion. 600 billion! Okay, this is boring. What kind of video games we got in here? What do we got? Nothing. We got 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 nothing. Oh, this is pretty boring. <coughs> oh. I should have opened the garage door to blow that shit out. Oh. I wonder how many freaking toolbars this dude's got. He's got Firefox. Oh, that's boring. Get out of here. We're not dialing up. Ooh. But this dude has sent pictures of himself to babes on the internet. Uh-oh, uh we're doing something illegal now or something. Or make some moonshine at home. Oh, boy. Make wine out of common household items. This doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. I'll make you some wine out of some common household cleaners. See how you like that. Oh, I can't read any of this shit. So since this thing kind of knows what its uh, video card is here, I'm going to turn it up. Get it to where it belongs. And we're going to try playing Soldier of Fortune 2 on the M64 because I feel like blowing heads off at extremely low frame rates. Maybe it wasn't the second for Soldier of Fortune game. It was the first one that had the blowing off the heads of the shotguns in the first level because I don't remember having to do this. Let's try that one out. Well, the system of requirements. The system requirements seem to be more along the lines of what I've... Uh, been looking for him. All right, this is more like it. We're gonna play the game. We're gonna play, sure, that, whatever, okay. Let's make it effortless because I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to point and click and blow some heads off for the fun of it. Now we're ready. Look at this, shit. I got my shotgun. Yeah, here we go. I'm all ass now. Duke Nukem. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice fucking arm beautiful. This is effortless. I didn't even shoot that part of him. Just fucking <laughs> Be gone! Well, now we have blown some heads off with the 700 megahertz Athlon. I guess we're going to try and torture the drive with spin right and see if it's going to live. Since it is a Death Star, I do suspect it's going to have some shit going on. If not, I'll be kind of surprised. Sadly, I thought there was an option to basically destroy the entire drive's contents while testing the thing. Apparently that's not an option. 26 megabytes per second, about. 23 or so. That's not bad, I suppose. Uh, 
All right, let's see if it blows up. So I'll just leave it here for now. Well, since spin right is boring and the hard drive isn't nearly as bad as I would have hoped it would, I quit it. This is boring, and I'm going to end the video. I might do a video later on me trashing the OS before I reinstall something better on it, like Windows ME. Ooh, better than Windows XP. That's some fucking shots fired right there.